Yeah, boot this thing up. All right. So we just added eight more gigabytes of RAM. This has been converted from an i3 to an i5. So um, it's still running the traditional hard drive. It's probably going to take a minute because it's like, oh, hardware changes. We're at uh, about 25 seconds. So um, I have not put the SSD in here because I didn't realize that there was already uh, Linux on it. So it took two minutes last time for it to boot. The spinning drive is right there. Um, we're on the login screen or whatever. We're at um, 50 seconds, 55. So, yep, and basically, <clears throat> I started the video as soon as I pushed the power button, so that way we could kind of get an idea. Um, I don't know if there's maybe a limiting factor with things with the motherboard and things like that. Uh, I don't often use um, OEM equipment. All my other computers are all custom towers and boards. Like uh, Most of them are like Asus or MSI boards. I do have an AES Rock board somewhere, but um, everything's MSI and Asus or Asus however you pronounce it. Uh, we're quickly approaching the two minute mark. So I don't think the RAM makes these older computers boot up any quicker. In fact, it looks like it's actually in this case slower. So last time it would have already been up. Um, so it's running about 15 seconds behind, I would say. We're still waiting for the desktop to populate. It's really slow. In its defense, Ubuntu Studio is actually pretty sluggy.